we're talking about today um, is the juice worth the squeeze? Hello. Hello. We've um we've we've had quite a few people sort of say like, you know, like you're living the dream. Um, oh, you're so lucky you're living the dream. Um, what else? Is it tough? Like, do you have hard day? You know, like, so, um, just thought we'd answer some of those questions. Yeah. There was a post on um, a women's sailing website that, or forum that we saw, and it, it really got us talking about it again. And um, I think she said, do you ever wish you weren't living the dream? I'm basically putting on loads of weight and getting really bored and I liked it at the beginning and, and now I found it really want to be doing it mm. and it got loads of responses um, some of which we sort of agreed with yeah or resonated with us and some of which we thought we're just kind of missing the point a bit so we thought we'd do this chat anyway and yeah say what we thought so I think yeah it definitely chimed didn't it I mean I think the expectation is, like, this is always a dream of mine, and I think when you suddenly are living your dream, there's quite a lot of kind of expectations that every day is going to be wonderful, that everything's going to be fixed because you're living your dream, mm. um, and that all your problems will suddenly dissolve away, and you'll be this new, sexy, intelligent, funny person that's <laughs> loving every day of your life. He's perfectly motivated <laughs> and always achieves all their aims and aspirations and I suppose life's still life isn't it and you're still you and your context changes and that might change some of the things you're not happy with mm. but you still have to motivate yourself and stay focused and sometimes that's really difficult sometimes that's easier when you're on a boat actually because life can be really amazing mm. And sometimes it's harder because the constraints are harder. So like, I don't know, things in my old life I used to love just when I felt really rubbish, just going and doing a yoga class or go for a nice walk or, you know, I don't know, go shopping or... And I don't wish that I was back in that life doing those things. But if I'm having a rubbish day on a boat and like today it's it's really windy outside and it's not that hot either so the appeal of jumping in the sea isn't that great might go for a swim later but I don't really feel like it at the moment um which sounds really spoiled doesn't it yeah. and then you feel worse because you're in this like paradise you're like I should be loving it I should, every day should be you know why aren't I but like the reality is that you know everything in moderation if every day you can't have a sublime day every day I think but the no. thing is is do the good days outweigh the bad and are you generally happy you know on a day-to-day -day basis or are you genuine you know and it's okay to have good days and bad days even if you're living your dream um but, but i think for me it's not just about are the good days outnumbering the bad it's about kind of under for me the good days are much better and the bad days to be honest are sometimes quite a lot worse mm, yeah but that's that's moving away from mediocrity, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a kind and of safety. Yeah, a kind of monotonous kind yeah. of day to day. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So the highs are higher and the lows can be lower, but oh, the ultimately, lows are lower. For me, the lows yeah. are definitely lower. Yeah, yeah. They can be really tough. Yeah, they can be really tough. Yeah. But is the juice worth the squeeze? Yeah. Why? because the good days are really good mm. and even when the bad days are really bad we've moved away from mediocrity and I think really importantly what I often had a sense of is of wanting to be somewhere else doing something else and um, just a sense that the plan was always to do something else in the future and even when I wasn't quite sure what that was you know I wasn't hating my everyday life but it was always like in the future you know the exciting bit was going to happen in the future it'll be better tomorrow it'll be better tomorrow and I'd probably rather not be not really wanting to be where I was doing what I was and I don't have that sense I've lost that I've lost that sense that I'm mm. not really living my life and that's worth a lot mm, that's yeah. really worth a lot that 
I don't find that I would rather be somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I don't dream of being somewhere else. But I am also kind of cautiously aware that at some point the dream might change and the dream might not be sailing around the world. It might, you know, that might, in a, you know, who knows, like yeah. years, months, it might change. But at the moment, I don't want to be anywhere else. And uh, in my previous life, I spent a lot of time dreaming about other things. And I think that's, yeah. that's the key. Yeah. But I think if you expect to kind of like start, if you if you you know you go for your dream and you expect that to be easy, <laughs> healthy, you know like your best version of yourself every day, it's just not. Well, it might, but you've got to, you know have to work at that the same mm. as you would yeah, in yeah. any other kind of life. You're still you, aren't you? You know, if you don't really like exercising, you're probably not going to start like loving exercising just because you're on a boat yeah and i that's what i i thought living on a boat it would be re like just really healthy without really trying and that's not true because no. it's quite difficult in some ways to get exercise so is the juice worth a squeeze yeah yeah definitely yeah. but you have to work with it too you have to like squeeze every day yeah, you have to squeeze every day. The juice is not readily available. You, have, you still have to squeeze it. And it doesn't always taste nice. It doesn't always taste nice either. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's little pithy bits in, like your engine stops. But ultimately, yeah. 